Wake up! It's time to Indonesia! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! He won't wake up. He doesn't want to Indonesia today. Hmm. I need Fanta soda water. What did you just say? I need Fanta soda water. He requires something delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the most delicious beverage in the world. It's his nectar. His nectar to wake up. Flip over, flip over. Here, here. Fanta soda water. Drink it. Oh, it'll be so delicious. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> Fanta soda water? Still better than sparkling water. <laughs> That's Indonesia's pride and joy right there, and you just said it's awful. But now I'm ready to Indonesia. Let's Indonesia! I actually have something else to try. I'm pretty curious about this. Um, Tebs, it seems like it's a brand that's all over the place. It says Tebs Sparkling, which is a little scary. Sometimes the sparkling drinks can be totally fine. It just means that it's like caffeinated, or not caffeinated, uh, car carbonated. But sometimes they're uh -oh. not good. Uh-oh, that looks like sparkling water. Oh, it's a weird fruit flavor. It's not bad. It's kind of just like a fruit soda of some sort. I don't know what fruit exactly, but it's a fruit. Let's go eat some fragging lunch. For right now, for our nice little lunch, we're going to go to a Greek restaurant. Greek food is very good. I've had it in Greece before, and it's very good in Greece. What's it gonna be like in Bali? We're going to Santorini! Let's go! Once again, everywhere we walk in this city, such a touristy city, but everywhere there's just these temples. They're just, they just built buildings around the temples. Like here, there's a temple entrance and then there's a shop built in like the wall of the temple. That's super cool. There's just so many shops here. Pretty much every tourist place we've been in Asia, they have everything except for the like red light district area like in Saigon. Yes, man. I would assume it's not allowed in Indonesia. Yeah, I would think so. But they got convenience stores on every corner. They got massage parlors for those people who want some uh, Bali massages. Tattoo shops. Restaurants, as many restaurants from as many different countries as you can think of. But the one thing that really sticks out about this place is this. Every block, there's another temple or a shrine or whatever the heck you call these, I'm not sure. Every single block, there's another one. The temple, and then right next to it, a liquor store. What's more touristy than that? Local culture and international culture. <laughs> As you can see, even though areas of the beach are very calm and chill uh the city is not that chill there's a lot of traffic and a lot of honking and a lot of loud engines the traffic is always moving and it never stops never crossing the street in indonesia and that's how it's done okay. the policeman will help you oh boy there's always kites in the sky. I'm sure there's a lot of places like this too. Organic, vegetarian, Vegan. stuff stuff along those lines. Uh, meditation, yoga. Yeah, we saw a Zumba class going down. Once again, the temperature outside isn't that hot, but the sun is very intense. People do drive very fast on these streets. Are you YouTuber? YouTuber? Yes. Yeah. Show me, show me. Huh? Hey, welcome to Philippines. Okay. Massage in Bali. Yeah. Massage. Yeah. Do boom boom. Yeah. Wow. 
We're in Santorini. This is pretty popular. It's pretty popular. Better refreshing. Good. It's got very good reviews. So let's see if people know if Greek food is actually good or not. Welcome to Santorini, a massive volcano in the middle of the Mediterranean. Or the Aegean. Something brand new that I've never had in my entire life. A mango juice. Let's see what it tastes like. Probably gonna taste like a mango. Why does it taste like a strawberry? What the? Ooh. It kind of tastes like, a, like an actual mango, like you bit into a mango. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting for a drink for it to just taste like a mango. Because it feels like it's more of like a, a way to end your meal. Yeah, we're in Greece. Why not drink some mangoes? Those are very popular in Greece. Oh, yeah, it's very. <laughs> Hiya, pals. I got some strawberry juice. Wait, where are you? In Greece? Look at behind you. We're in Greece. Do you think we uh, will ever make it to Santorini with our current budget? If we try hard enough, we can be like Gabe. <laughs> That's really good. The food has arrived. Look at this. Unfortunately, it's a lot of tomatoes and uh, things that are not in my yummy palate, I guess you could say. Right. Those are in your yummy palate. Oh, they're interesting. They're very crunchy. I got some stuff. Look at this beef. Oh, yeah. It's like a very flavorful meatball, but it's a meat stick. So they're like the better version of a meatball. Yeah, instead of it just being a small shape, it's a long shape. It, it can't roll away from you because it will roll in a circle and it will always come back. <laughs> a rectangle. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's seasoning on there. Tender, juicy. Tender, juicy. The <laughs> hot dog. I would assume better than tender, juicy. I know, this is the pork. I don't know why this looks so crazy. I'm going to dip it into this. And try that. Oh, much chewier, but a lot of flavor. Wow. wow. The pork is so flavorful, I couldn't even taste the sauce I dipped it in. Really? I have some beef or pork in here. That's a big plate of food. Mm. That's also very yummy. It's a nice plate of delicious meat. And I like meat. And now, what do you have? A deconstructed gyro? Indeed I do. Epic. When you get the luxury of making your own gyro, you might be able to get one little piece of chicken in that thing. That's not Let's a gyro see. anymore. That's a pocket. Let's see how many I can fit in here. Oh, there's a hole on the bottom already? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, we got two pieces in there. A third. Oh, and a third. But if you want it to be a euro, you have to fit a french a fry fourth. in there, too. Oh, true. These fries are a bit too big. Is there a small one? Small boy fry. And you gotta cover that thing in sauce. Honestly, that's accurate. They put a lot on it. That's really dang good. That is really good. Everything mixes together so well. All the flavors. There's nothing too strong flavors in there. So they all come together. Mm. Mm. Makes me feel so warm inside. Make you feel like you're in Santorini. I mean, look at this decor. I don't even need the food. We are in Santorini already. Greek food in Indonesia, delicious. It's not to the quantity uh, or the proportion size of the Greek food I got in Greece. That was so much food. Oh my gosh, I couldn't even come close to finishing it. Probably the same price too. Yeah, it probably was. I remember it being very, very cheap in Greece. But it tasted really good, I will say. It was good, it was good. It really gets in your teeth. It does, I, it's still in my teeth and I've used the toothpaste. We're gonna head down to the beach. This is the kind of the like fancier area apparently, this Semenyak area. So we're gonna try, see what it's like. Go down to the beach, walk down the beach a ways and see if there's anything different. It's just all about exploring the city these first two days. So that's what you do when you're on a super budget. Yeah, you just explore. And that's how you really throw yourselves into the city the best, I think. You could take taxis everywhere or you could just throw yourself into the street. Just walk. Just feel it out. They have another one of these random buildings that are empty with a statue on top. It's like they're building stuff in front of it, but it just says shelter on top. It's interesting. Weird. So it's one of these down by Kuda Beach and now up in the more northern area, they have another one. They're just building buildings to put statues on them, dude. 
I mean, it's, it's a good way to, uh, I guess, incorporate some culture. Yeah, why not? Both the buildings, which is odd. Oh, the waves are way oh. bigger here. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? But they're, both of them are empty, so they're both being constructed at the same time on different parts. And what is their actual use to, for them? <laughs> but you know what? I think is a good use. <gasps> Workout montage on the beach? Yeah. It's kind of a boring workout montage. Yeah, it's not as cool as our other ones. But we need to work out. Let's go. We got a lot of beanbag chairs. Wow, the sun is really hot right now. Ooh. 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 When it hits the sand, bounce it off. Once it hits your bloody head. It hits you right in the head, mate. Once again, we are on the beach in tennis shoes. I would say we should have wore our sandals, but we never know how far we're gonna end up walking. Yeah, you don't want to walk as far as we walked yesterday. No, yeah, I don't. I don't regret our decision yesterday. The waves are pretty nice. They're not super big, but they're decently big. Everyone's surfing here. Ooh, I would not want to walk in that water. Ooh, oh, no. ooh, fracking knows where that's coming from. Oh wait, we saw that river. It was kind of grody. Yeah, it wasn't like trash in it, but it wasn't very clean. No, dang, the waves out there are pretty nice. There's like multiple different caps too. I think it's time to walk that way to the airport. All right, we walked all the way. Look at that thing, how far that is. The statue. You can see a little oh, bit of blue. Yeah, blue. Oh my gosh. That's pretty dang far. There's the other tower down there too. Oh yeah. Wow, we walked far. Now it's time for the other direction. Let's go. We are facing the sun, so now we won't be shadows. Isn't that epic? But we'll, we'll just, just be, be squinty. Yeah, literally, we'll just be squinty or nuts or all fella. Those waves look nice. Actually, it would be a nice... What the frack? What are you doing? What is happening right now? Holy nuts. Is that... a monkey? I don't know how to draw a monkey mouth. Uh, I guess it's a monkey. Honestly, at first, we're playing Pictionary on the beach now. At first, this is what I thought you were drawing. See if you can guess it before I finish it. I'm trying to do it not all at once, so it's not as obvious, but I think I've messed it up now. I've definitely messed it up now. A pig? <laughs> a crab? Arr, 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 arr. the money! Alright, can you guess what this is? Oh, an epic S? I forgot what it's called. I don't remember either. I kind of made it a bit messy. The middle school S? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at those waves. Oh. Wow. That's pretty big. I want to swim now. We don't have sunscreen on. Drop the money. Drop make all this money. We didn't put sunscreen on our backs or our stomachs or our chests. So if we wanted to jump in the waves right now, it would be like we usually do in the Philippines, which is probably the best option because we don't have enough sunscreen and it's so dang expensive. We saw some at the convenience store yesterday and it was $15. We put so much on our face and neck already. I don't. I don't think we. It would last like a week if we no, put it on our all. back and stomach. We bought some for like a few, like two dollars in the Philippines, and <laughs> that lasted like four, five days. The fracking beach, baby. We're walking down the beach here and it seems like there might be actually be a lot of street food options on the beach. So maybe later tonight we'll come back and see. What type of Indonesian street foods we can get? Yeah, on a fracking beach in Bali. But before that, we got uh, things at Mini Mart. I got a Smart Kids banana drink. I got fruity. Those fruities are everywhere. A lot of countries, the only thing that changes is they just have tea. That seems to be a theme in all the Asian countries. I want to try my banana milk. It literally says banana pudding. So it's not even banana milk, it's pudding. What does that mean? Is it gonna be a thick daddy? Thick boiler. Ooh.
That really tastes like a banana pudding. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh wow. This may be the This is a bad spot. <laughs> wow. Well it really tastes like a banana pudding. It's very tasty. Oh gosh, that's really getting in my mouth. <coughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't know. It's like got into my lung. It tingled. Whatever oh. this powder is. Is it a fire extinguisher? I don't know. There's some yellow powder, and then it really got into your lungs. Everyone was covering their mouth. Did we just get lung cancer? Tuberculosis. That's probably not safe. No. Did we just lose five years of our life in Bali? Maybe. Whatever. What was that yellow powder on the ground? Was it toxic? Probably. This yellow liquid is not toxic, though. Well, oh, there's like grinding bricks over there. Oh, whoa. Lots of construction going on here. <laughs> Fruit tea. We're away from the toxic fumes now, hopefully. I imagine this will taste like every fruit tea I've ever gotten at a convenience store. So let's see. Oh, it actually tastes different. It's uh, it's not super sweet, but it's also not super tea-y. Guava flavor. Oh, that's why. Guava is definitely a unique flavor for tea. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty dang good. I'll definitely finish this. That's good. You should have got a banana pudding. We got ice cream. Ice cream. I want ice cream. Ice cream. You three. We all three. Four. Ice cream. A feast bar. Mr. Beast. Oh, this is naughty. Someone should give you $500,000 right now for buying one of those. I should. If anybody wants to give me $500,000, my PayPal link is in the description. You can send it. Uh, thank you so much. We really need it. We're super poor and our lives suck. And please, we should... <laughs> so much trauma from being so poor. <laughs> this is good. It's nutty. It's chocolatey. And the vanilla ice cream is very soft on the inside. Look. See how soft that was? That looks pretty dang soft if I've ever seen any soft ice cream. Good. You kick your peaches down in Georgia. Ah! Oh, oh, so Sheppy's bloody bar. Sheppy's bloody bar. Ah, they're gonna have some ruse at the bar. <laughs> it's illegal to do a fake Australian accents in Bali because there's so many fracking Australians here. So many. You'll see Australian flags everywhere. The people we see is like 50% tourists, and then 50% of that 50% are at least 50% at least are Aussies. And like 80% ah! 80 of the tourists are of the Caucasian skin color. Yes, it's an interesting place. Very, very interesting place. But we have one another sunset to see, because why not? Bali was our place to relax, like we said, and we're not really relaxing. We're actually just going on super long walks in the heat. <laughs> we haven't touched the water once. No, the content. We always got to make the content. It's a beautiful place. The food has been delicious and we're going to continue. If you really want us to jump into more Indonesian culture, our Java series is going to be much more up your alley, I think, for that stuff. So stay tuned. That'll be soon. That'll be coming next. The corn. Uh, not yet. That makes me a little more scared of the prices we're gonna get. Oh, there's the sunset. It's already gone. Very red. Very red. Our second Bolognese sunset. Bolognese pasta. It kind of looks like Bolognese pasta. Oh, it's very red and delicious. Well, the sunset is gone. Gone behind the clouds. Another day completed in Bali. Wow, this beach is busier than it was yesterday. It's Friday night. <laughs> what is Friday night is literally, I mean, it's like perfect temperature out right now. Wow, look at it, it's all down the beach. It's just so oh busy. My. This is getting closer to Boracay levels of busyness. Yeah. We're gonna be showing you guys what Friday night is like in Bali. That's what we're doing in today's video. Friday night nightlife in Bali. What can we find? Let's figure it fracking out. The waves are pretty decent right now. 
I wonder if it's like Mangalore, will there will kick everybody out of the water at some point? Probably. I don't see any lifeguards anywhere, but I'm sure they have them somewhere. Yeah, I don't need so many people. Wow, there's a lot. The waves look decent out there. Look at that. Yeah, those deep ones. Whoa. Those are really big actually. Dang. There's people out there surfing. For some reason, the waves today seem like they're a lot bigger than yesterday. Oh yeah, by far. I don't know what, I don't know how waves work, but. I did not go very far. <laughs> well, they really wanted to roll this way. <laughs> Kicking uphill. Look at that guy. He's living the life. Oh, he just put some flesh shrimp on the bobby. <laughs> by the way, that's a satirical accent if you couldn't frag it. Oi! What are you calling satirical, Mike? Oi, this is accurate! Oi, look at that. Look like some deep waves. They are. I'd like to get out in there and jump in. We could actually take off our bloody shirts now. Bolognese pasta. Doesn't seem like anybody, like, leaves their stuff on the beach. Oh, true. Yeah, you have to get, like, a table area. Maybe, or... Well, it seems like a place where it's very... Something could very easily get yoinked if you left it. There's so many people. So many. Oh, there's a little snow pupper aruner over there. Oh, yeah, I saw it earlier. It was digging out of, like, a little hole. Oh, snow doggo! We do have to get in this water at some point. We haven't been in the beach and we're in fracking Bali. Maybe at night around this time is a good time to go in the ocean? I don't fracking know. We, just, we want there to be waves and we want to take our shirts off hopefully depending on what type of shirt we can wear but if the sun's out we can't take our shirts off so we might have to plan to go to the beach if the waves are big i don't know it'll be hard we'll see somewhere we will get into the bolognese the bolognese pasta, pasta. by bolognese pasta we mean the ocean that's what we say when we refer to that yeah, I thought that was common knowledge by now that everyone just calls the ocean Bolognese pasta. Yeah, I thought so too, but then like we said it one time and there was like a comment saying like, what is Bolognese pasta? The heck? I'm very disappointed with people. Hey, no Thank problem. You. Hey, you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. <laughs> well, we got a bunch of pictures of people. There's a lot of white people here. I don't know why they chose us. No, I don't know. I still don't know why people like choose us why do why do we stick out so much i don't know i always see like you see those videos where it's like no one really cares about you you're just in your own head no one's actually looking at you when you're walking it's not it's not true for us for some reason <laughs> people literally stare at us all the time you know there's so many white people here i don't know why I mean, they don't they didn't know who we were they didn't know we we're vloggers they didn't know anything do we dress that different <laughs> We're both wearing, we're both wearing essentially the same thing. <laughs> a red shirt and <laughs> maybe that's why, I don't know. Oh gosh. I mean like in the rural areas of different countries like India, Philippines that we've been to, it makes sense when people want pictures with us. But here, when we end up in tourist spots and there's literally more white people than locals, it's very confusing, I guess. Whoa. The, she came up and she was like, excuse me. And I thought she was going to be like, is this your... Oh. It's a mean dog. It jumped at some other people. What the heck? It will be euthanized soon, I'm sure. I thought she was going to be like, are these your black pink reactions or something like that? I, I thought at first it was, she was going to ask for a picture with... Are we being followed right now? Oh. They were following us the whole time. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> now they're running all the way back. We walked up far away. Yeah. You're just like, are somebody following us? <laughs> they must have like had to keep up. Our, we walked fast. So. <laughs> I don't know where we're going exactly, but going to Kuta, I guess. Oh. At this point, we are just so cute. Look at these shorts. Look at those shorts. Look at that Am little Gerber man. Am I cute? Yes. There's the fracking moon and the planet. What planet is that? I didn't look it up last night. I, my guess is Venus. Uh, see, that's where you're wrong. Oh, uh, it's Neptune? It's actually 
Gamma Radius X5 Z14. <gasps> There's a new exoplanet hurling towards Earth. Yes, in five days, it'll be this big in the sky. That would be very scary. <laughs> we were just discussing in the uh, <laughs> in our hotel room what our reaction would be if a demon came out of a crack in our hotel. There's like a crack up above and uh, yeah, what uh, we were like, what if something just wiggled out of there and then it was like a little pile of mush and then it started cracking its bones into place. And it, you're like, that would probably be like the scariest moment of my life. And I just thought about it and I just started laughing. <laughs> I don't know what the scariest moment before. Probably when we were walking in that super dark fracking uh, rainforest. Yeah, that was really scary. Or when we were followed in... Uh, Milan? No, that one was a little bit. When we were followed in uh, uh, Washington and in Spokane. Oh yeah, that was really freaky. That was really scary. I was like, uh oh. We have a whole full video on that if you want to check it hey, out. Hey, we Not actually, but sort of. We have US vlogs. <laughs> we stayed in some really sketchy fracking areas. Ho oh, oh. ho. Don't advise it. Bali. I thought you were gonna go, drop the money! Wow, there's a frack ton of people down here. Party area. It looks like it, but it just looks like everyone's standing. I don't know, Walt. Seeming kind of sus lately. I think there might be an imposter among us. Amogus. We didn't draw that, by the way. No, it was already here. That's why it's super sus. What a dog doing? We should go up to one of these uh, street dogs and be like, what the dog doing? What the dog doing? And we should uh, put butter on him. Butter dog. Dog with the butter. Dang, now I, now we gotta find another dog and be like, what the dog doing? We just saw so many dogs. We could have said that when that dog tried to attack that kid. Yeah, true. What the dog what doing? What the dog doing? Well, let's just walk back to the statue. We're almost there. We're going to this crowd up here. There's a lot of people and we don't know why. We walked towards the crowd last time because we heard clapping and it just turned out to be like a school and then we got pictures taken with us. And now we're just walking more. Why is there so many people up here? The mystery? I'm scared. Ready? Look at that dog. What a dog doing? <laughs> what are they looking at? That? I it's guess. nice. Yeah. It's a nice orange sky back there. Friday night in Bali. What can you expect? Some music coming from over there. A lot of people at the beach. So many dang things. There's like a lot of vendors here. Yeah, true, true. We're showing, we're walking around with ice cream with a huge thing of peanuts. That guy will come up and be like, do you want to hold the peanuts? I like peanuts. <laughs> wow. Well, we are here. See you, maybe there's something we can get up there. Well, let's go. Or we can go back to the statue, like we said. We're not too far away. No. We just haven't even made it to that one. Yeah. What a dog doing? This is what you can expect from the Kuda Beach in Bali on Friday night. If you wanted somewhere where there's not many people, this is not the place for you. No, no, no. There's, I mean, there's a lot of different stalls here. Nothing's really serving up like too many savory hot foods, it seems like. Like the place with me goring and stuff like that seem to be closed. But the mall's right behind the beach. So you can get restaurants in there. You can rent a chair to watch the sunset. I don't know how much that costs because we never rent a chair in our whole life. It looks like it's getting even busier the more we get down here. There's a lot of people here. I'm sure people come to Bali just for weekend trips. So us being, us being here and uh, unfortunately lining up our possible excursions tomorrow with the weekend could end very poorly <laughs> for I, us. Like some of the hotels we walked by had like special things on weekends too. So definitely they get busier on weekends. I mean the sunset hasn't officially gone down yet. Uh, <laughs> it's an interesting place because like the real shops are down a ways from the beach. Oh my gosh, he has a tiny little puppy. That's so cute. What the heck? 
corn. Corn seems to be the number one food on the beach. Seems like it's just more of the same, kind of. Just everybody's just chilling out. Welcome to the greatest place on earth. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. Pizza sounded good. And uh, the, the Pizza Hut here in Indonesia was so different. It was crazy. It was almost like India, how different it was. Like with the Pizza Hut. And in India, we were like, whoa, we have to get some Pizza Hut. You're going to be shocked at what we ordered today. Oh, a splitza pizza, some sausage pastries, some milkshakes, because milkshakes are only one more dollar than water. That's always good. <laughs> We'll go back out there, hit the street. This is just right on the, the beach walk here next to Hard Rock Cafe. I might be hungering for some corn too. Oh. And this Pizza Hut is super highly rated, like surprisingly, like one of the highest rated Pizza Huts we've ever seen. Highest rated pizza place in this. <laughs> oh, pizza Hut time. Let's go. Hey guys, we got milkshakes. Did you know Pizza Hut had milkshakes? Me neither. I don't, we should have got milkshakes at Johnny Rockets. That's right next door, not Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, true. They, they had a lychee milkshake on the menu, which was interesting. I was thinking about getting it. Ah, that's not bad. It's not bad. It's kind of like the um, milkshakes in the Philippines at a lot of places, like Shakey's, Pancake House. Their milkshakes kind of taste like this. It's just kind of milk, strawberry syrup, ice. Ice. But usually there's ice cream, not ice in the U.S. milkshakes. But um, in Asia, and even in Europe, it seems like they put ice in them. So they're never as thick and never as creamy. Oh, give me a jack-in-the-box shake right oh, now. Oh, baby. Nice, thick, and creamy. Americans oh. know how to make fat shakes, baby. Oh. Chocolate. 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 I got a chocolate shake. Oh, our pizza. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, baby, with some BBQ sauce. Those look very sad. I was hoping they would look better than that because they're they fresh. Might, they smell deep. The, the uh, pastry part of it is lacking. Oh yeah, it's very watery, very standard. Oh, it's, it's almost like a chocolate powder, I feel like. Uh huh. Like, uh, is it Milo? It might be, something like that. You should get the Milo Super Shake so you could compare. Well, now you get to do the honors. Oh no, Funny Bone John. That's a thumbnail right there, I think. That's fantastic. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Ah. Best thing you've ever had in your whole life? I will say this is miles better. The taste is miles better than the appearance. Uh -huh. I was very surprised by it. That's actually pretty dang good. That's good. The size of it, I don't remember how much they cost, but the size of it, that's pretty dang small. That is. But maybe they're only like $2. Uh, then we, yeah, then we're, they're made of put around like 28 to 40. It's not bad. That's pretty good. It's like a hot dog, basically. Like a mini hot dog. Yeah, and it tastes surprisingly decent for how abysmal it looks. If you put this, some cheese in this oh. and made the croissant bigger, it'd be a hot dog roll-up, and those are delicious. It kind of tastes like a hot dog roll-up without the cheese and the croissant because the croissant is so small. So but, you're saying if you were to put cheese in it and make the croissant bigger, that it would be like a hot dog roll-up? It would. It's pretty fracking big. I was a little nervous how big it was going to be, but it's pretty good. Back in our days, in our real eating days, uh, last year in India and Dubai and Georgia, we'd eat two of these. Yeah, like slightly smaller than that. Because without the stuffed crust. Yeah, yeah, that's probably so, right. It looks like this, I don't know if this piece is a cheese overload or a, it's like a half and half. Look at that. I do enjoy Pizza Hut stuffed crust, and this looks like pretty good stuffed crust in there, actually. That's like pretty melty. It looks like we're gonna have a cheese adventure through this thing. Here we go. Is that the meat side? Uh, I think it's a, it's like bull. Ah. I got like the cross section piece. Holy no. Cheesy? <laughs> oh, it's a cheese overload. <laughs> they weren't lying when they named the pizza. Wow, that is cheesy. Wow, the cheese is like so melty. It's like a liquid when it goes into your mouth. That's insane. And now they do this. And then you get my butt. Oh, look at that. I got a bunch of beef. So you can get the stuffed crust and the pizza. They really stuff this crust, which is good. Sometimes they really like just coat the outside of it and that's it. Yeah, and then you open it and it's like hollow on the inside and you're like, why am I here? Why is everything so heavy? That's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with this pizza. I'm glad we got a splitza of the cheese pizza so you can have the meat bite 
and the um, cheese bite back the and forth. Might, they might be too much either way. Yeah, because that's sometimes meat gets really salty and cheese gets really cheesy. So the half and half is gonna be. You know what else gets really cheesy? Us. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza Hut in Indonesia. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Well, I gotta admit, this is not the nightlife I was expecting. There's some big lights coming. Uh, maybe we have to go over there to the lights. Or it'll just be something super fracking boring. It'll be like, oh. Very possible. We just wasted 10 more minutes of walking. But we won't know if we don't try. That's true. It's very chill right here. What the heck? One of the spotlights over there was just a rooftop bar. There's some lights way the frack over there, but I don't see any people. There's no movement. Just lights. We don't know where the party central is. The GoPro died, but there was some epic, like, two fireworks. Oh, there. another one. Look. Wow. Yeah. Fireworks. That's where, that's where the party is, baby. Party. We know there's some um, night markets here in uh, the city, but it's on the other side of the city, like pretty far on the other side. With traffic, that would probably take like an hour to get over there, unfortunately. We'll see. I don't know where everybody is, if they're just kind of hanging out in their resorts. Well, we know everybody's at the fracking restaurants, I guess that's for sure. Yeah, and it seemed like from what we've seen that when we walk by a lot of the resorts, that people just sit in those pools and stuff. They just like the chill. Maybe it's more chill than we thought. I thought it was going to be more like a Bangkok style where like, I mean, that's the way it was described on a blog I read. There's like, Kuda, man, that's where everybody parties. But maybe it's more inland. Like Pattaya or whatever the frack it is in Thailand. That's like a beach destination, but I think it's just like a party beach destination. So that's what I would have maybe expected this to be like here. Maybe, maybe it's just more inland. Maybe there's, it's like Saigon where there's just a street that just goes nuts. And, uh, it's just about finding that street. Or it's on the other side of the city. Who knows? Fireworks! It's 4th of July! Oh my gosh, Independence Day! Show your patriotism right now. Dun 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 dun! Wow. A fireworks show on a fracking beach. Epic. Chrysler. Epic. Oh, he's got more. Wow, this guy's put on a show. More nice. That is an epic show. They're kind of loud. Yeah, they were not as loud when we were down the beach. <sighs> God, no. Wow, that one is. Some of them are really loud. Oh, they got like an M80 tractor going on. Those ones are rough. Wow, they're really... They don't go very high either. No, no. Fireworks. F fireworks. Hey guys, if you're gonna get a corn, are you gonna get corn in a cup or corn on a cob? On the cob. On the cob, that is very impressive. Oh, they got two. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, yeah, that's good. How, how much is uh, for one? Three for one. Four, okay. okay. Two? I just one. Just one. Two Sahara. Oh. He made some horns for those other people. What's going to be on your horn? There was like an orange powder and then there was some, somebody just put butter on there. It should be interesting. I don't know what, it seems like it's a little bit different than the Filipino corn, but maybe the orange is just the cheese, I don't know. Man, look at that. Some sort of sauce on it. It was on a list for what to eat here. Yeah, they will buy it. You got some fracking corn on a stick. I have no clue what the sauce is. <laughs> it's sweet spicy. You have some street corn with some sweet and spicy sauce. 
And look at my gosh, that is just doused. It's a very moist. moist. Be prepared to moist this thing. Look at how hot it's gonna be. Oh, it's still really hot. It's right off the grill. Oh. Sweet and very spicy. Yes. <laughs> the, since it's grilled so much, the the kernels get really small. Oh. So it's really like you don't bite down actually, actually on it. Oh, I got the hiccups already. Uh oh. It's very spicy. <laughs> it's good though. Very tasty. Oh. Ooh, you really can't get very deep down there. Weird. It's kind of just like eating a sauce. Interesting. Never had. I guess I have had grilled corn, but not like a whole cob of grilled corn. Do you want to try some at all? I'll try some. Feed me, like in uh, Pecadilla. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a very peppery sauce. It is. It's like straight chilies. It's very on the spicy side, I would say. Oh, wow. I don't taste the sweet in that. It's like those little cracking chilies, like little... We're gonna need some uh, drink now. <laughs> it tastes really good. I like it, but that's pretty freaking spicy. That's a, a lot of spicy sauce I gotta eat here. <laughs> Why is it so spicy? <laughs> I don't know. Because we're weak. We're so very dang weak. weak. Very weak. It was 20000 which is a little expensive for a cup of we corn. We said that that would be the high end we'd want to pay for it. Yeah. Corn in the Philippines is like 20 pesos, which is like 50 cents. Figured it might be a little expensive because it's uh, here and it's Bali. Wow, that's so spicy. <laughs> He's not doing too hot, guys. The corn is too freaking spicy. It's really dang spicy. I will make it a mission to finish. <laughs> Will he do it? Oh. Yeah, that's spicy, my god. <laughs> We're in this mall thing again by the beach. It's definitely a lot busier than yesterday. There's actually people in here now. Yesterday was pretty empty. We're gonna show you what the inside of an Indonesian supermarket looks like. Because my, my mouth is on fire. He needs something. I mean, my lips are still burning, actually. Gosh, oh, there's a big candy store. I'm really scared for anything uh, we're gonna get in the future of Indonesia now. Yeah, that was just corn. That was the sweet and spicy, by the way. So usually that has a little spice, but not really. And that was uh... very hard to eat for me. <laughs> Let's go check out a supermarket, baby. This is an Indonesian supermarket. It's pretty big. And what snacks will we get in here today? Let's see. Oh my gosh, we got so many things, but first, we have to get this spice out of our mouth right fracking now. Oh. The spice is burning you alive. For the best water? It's back. Uh, we were in the convenience store the other day looking for water and a random grab driver walked in. He's like, grab one of these and he's like, this is the best. Grab. Is it? Tastes like water. Well, we have more snacks. We'll show you what we got when we get back to the hotel. It's Friday night in Legian, guys. It's empty. Empty. Like, all the stalls that were open earlier closed down at like 9. Or, I mean, it's 9 and they're closed. They could have closed down earlier. Yeah, it's, I figured this would be open till like midnight. But it's empty. What's up with all these stalls? Is this like a COVID thing? Like, before? They had this place would have been popping, but now like nobody comes here or what? I cannot tell. It's so interesting. It just happens in a lot of places we go to where I'm like, oh, surprised that it's not like stuff happening here. It's really, really weird. Like it is dead. There's maybe been like 10 stalls along this whole beach that have been open. Other than that, it's just people relaxing on the beach, like a few groups of friends just hanging out and uh then it's just dead oh, and there's the the people have left now the rats are on the show oh and it was it wasn't fat but it was a long boy oh boy it's a big rat <laughs> yeah so that's interesting if you come to bali and you expect there to be like nightlife down kuda beach um 
It's not there, but maybe it's somewhere. We're not good at finding that stuff. So we don't look to search out clubs. So I'm sure if we're looking for that nightlife, it's there somewhere. It just seems like, like we said, people come here, they go to the restaurants, probably spend a few hours at the restaurants at this time of night, get some drinks, eat Lots some food, get some dessert. And then even the restaurants seem to put on shows and stuff. So it seems like these resorts, people go to the resorts, maybe walk around the beach for the sunset, but then they go back to the resorts, eat at the restaurants, maybe eat at some restaurants. There's rats everywhere. Yeah, rats everywhere. Eat at some restaurants down this strip because there's a lot of high rated ones. A lot of different cuisines too. Yeah, I mean like there's a lot of expensive options, a lot of cheaper options. You know, it's not it's not a bad thing. If this is like a party beach, I mean it'd be it'd be better for our, our video probably because it'd be like, whoa, what's but, happening? But we wouldn't also like it as much. No, it's it's better for it to be chill like this. I like it a lot more. You can actually like go to the beach and just sit there and look for crabs. I'm sure that this guy's probably looking for fracking crabs. We could probably look for crabs. Let's find some crabs. If there's not a crab out here, I'm literally going to go in the water. I'm not gonna stop. I'm going all the way out there. It's just pitch black on the GoPro. <laughs> Guys, we're inching towards the water and we're gonna find a crab. In Costa Rica, when we looked for crabs at night, they were all over the fracking place. Here, let's see. I have seen nothing. Crabs? There are too many people constantly on this beach. All the, just find a different place. The crabs have been eradicated? Oh, yeah, maybe. I can't even see anything. I have my little flashlight on. I'm not seeing any crabs. No, there's nothing at all. What the frack is going on in Bali Beach? Uh, 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 they uh, killed the crabs! The crabs! Mr. Crabs! Arr, 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 arr. Drop the money! It's like when he had no shell. Oh no, it's when he molted. I molted me shell! <laughs> oh, sad. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Welcome to my shower! The lighting is best in here, so we're in the shower. We have this stuff. La bottle. La bottle. Sauce, sauce roll la bottle. I don't know what the heck this is gonna taste like. It kinda looks like the buckwheat. Ah, uh, uh, that was not very good. It's really echoey in here. Oh, what do I sound like right now? Oh, whoa. Gento gasolina. Okay, echo time. I'll speak quietly so the echo is minimized. We should get those sound things and just put them all over the walls. Hey, whoa, I blocked it over here. Oh, oh, wow. You just look like that. Okay. There's a mirror behind you, which is a bit weird. It's me! Oh no. Does oh, not smell no. good? Smell it. Why does it smell like beer? Almost. It smells like grains. That's probably why. Yeah. It literally smells like. Wish me luck. La uh, bottle. You're, you're gonna die. Ooh. It's not carbonated, and I feel like if it was carbonated, it would really stick with you longer. But it's kind of just like water. So it just, it goes through quick. Weird. But it doesn't taste very good. You will not get it again? No, it's not terrible, but it's not good either. It's just like, you drink it and you're like, oh, that's not good. It's not like, Aah! it's not like, oh, it's just like, oh, no, no, thank you. Go ahead. In a way, it almost tastes like a watered down, really watery, terrible chocolate drink. Kind of. With a mouthwash flavor also added in there. I really just get, it just tastes like a bunch of grains in water to me. Yeah, it's not good. And it has 16 grams of sugar. It tastes like there's literally zero sugar in there. It tastes like it should be healthy. If you took wheat and you mashed it up and then put some water in it, that's what I would expect it to taste like. Best thing we've tried yet today. I think so as well. <laughs>